Hi guys, I will explain vehicle drift due to tire from definition of a vehicle drift to vehicle drift by price tier. Here I have a quiz for you. Uh, what is the main cause to produce the tire pull and the vehicle drift? Uh, first, conicity. Second, price tier. Third, both of conicity and the price tier. This figure is from the last video, E50. As shown in the figure, a vehicle drift is a phenomenon in which a vehicle moving at a constant yaw angle to the direction of a vehicle motion. Therefore, the longitudinal x-axis of a vehicle does not coincide with the moving direction, the axis v. This is also called dog tracking. Expressed differently, vehicle drift is a phenomenon in which rear wheels do not follow the same path as that of front wheels in a vehicle driving straight. Let's define the steering wheel offset angle to account for a vehicle drift. When a vehicle drift occurs, the longitudinal axis of the vehicle and the driving direction of the vehicle do not match together. So the steering wheel centering changes. Let's define the steering wheel offset angle as the angle that the steering wheel rotates or the angle that needs to be rotated with respect to the front wheel axis to keep the vehicle moving straight ahead. If the wheel alignment of the vehicle is perfect and there is no conicity and price tear, the vehicle's longitudinal axis X coincides with the vehicle's direction of motion V axis. Therefore, the steering wheel offset angle is zero and the yaw angle is also zero and the vehicle can go straight ahead. What if the rear wheels had conicity and the price tier? Here we have famous research paper on this question based on extensive testing. Uh, this is well documented in the Rindenmuth essay paper 74074. Tire conicity and the price tier effects on vehicle performance. Therefore, from now on, I will explain by referring to the contents of this paper. As shown in the figure, let's find out uh, what happens uh, when the residual cornering forces uh, due to conicities generated in one direction on the rear wheels are in the right direction. In this case, vehicle drift is produced uh, when the total conicity force of rear axle is grid in one direction. Longitudinal axis of vehicle doesn't coincide with the direction of vehicle motion. These things offset over rear wheels with respect to the front ones can be observed. No vehicle pull appears when there is no conicity forces in the front wheels. Steering wheel shows distinct offset clockwise. What happens if all wheels have the same conicities to the right? When the total conicity of rear wheels has a large value in one direction, a vehicle drift occurs. The conicity of the front wheels determines the vehicle pull and its direction. To keep the vehicle going straight, the driver must con continuously supply the corresponding torque counterclockwise uh, through the steering wheel. The above three cases are shown in, in this figure. If the rear wheel is replaced with the tires having right-sided conicities, vehicle drift occurs due to the conicity of rear wheels as shown in the middle figure.
and the front wheels go straight uh, because uh, there are no cornices. Uh, when the driver takes their hands off uh, the steering wheel, a steering offset angle corresponding to the yo angle caused by vehicle drift occurs and the vehicle goes straight. If the front tires are additionally replaced with the tires having right-sided cornices, the vehicle drift due to the cornice of the rear wheels does not change. Uh, but because of cornice of front wheels, the driver needs to turn the steering wheel counterclockwise to drive the vehicle straight. Torque must be continuously supplied to the steering wheel. And this time, as shown in this figure, let's find out what happens when the residual cornering force due to cornices generated in one direction when the rear wheels are in the left direction. The contents up to number 4 are the same, but since they are important, let's repeat them for the review. A bigger drift is produced when the total cornice force of rear axle is grit in one direction. A longitudinal axis of the vehicle uh, doesn't coincide with the direction of vehicle motion. A distinct offset of rear wheels with respect to the front ones can be observed. No vehicle pull appears uh, when there is no quantity forces in the front wheels. Steering wheel shows a distinct, distinct offset counterclockwise. What if there are cornices in the opposite direction of front and the rear wheels? Uh, when the total cornice of rear wheels has a large value in one direction, a vehicle drift occurs. The cornice of front wheels determines the vehicle pull and its direction. To keep the vehicle going straight, a driver must continuously supply the corresponding torque uh, through the steering wheel. The above three cases are shown in this figure. If the rear wheels are replaced with the tires having left-sided cornices, a vehicle drift occurs uh, due to the cornices of the rear wheels, and the front wheels move straight because there are no cornices. When the driver takes their hands over the steering wheel, a steering wheel offset angle corresponding to the yaw angle caused by vehicle drift occurs, and the vehicle moves straight. If the front tires are additionally replaced with the tires having left-sided cornices, and the rear tires are also replaced uh, with tires having right-sided right -side, right cornices, the vehicle drift uh, due to cornices of rear wheels occurs in the opposite yaw angle. And the driver needs to turn the steering wheel clockwise to make the vehicle go straight because of the cornices of front tires. Torque must be continuously supplied uh, to the steering wheel. Comparing the cornice in one direction and the cornice in opposite direction of the front and the rear wheels, the yo angle uh, due to vehicle drift caused by rear wheel is the same. Uh, but the steering wheel offset angle is larger when the quantity in the front wheel is in the opposite direction compared to when the quantity is in one direction. Uh, this is because when the quantity is in the opposite direction, the direction of a steering wheel offset angle for overcoming the quantity of the front wheels in order to make the vehicle go straight coincides with the direction of the steering wheel offset angle uh, due to vehicle drift by rear wheels. Uh, this time, uh, let's look at the case 
uh, where the residual cornering force due to the ply steer on the rear wheels acts to the right. Ply steer influence on the vehicle drift is small compared with quantity influence. Normally, ply steer doesn't produce vehicle pull observable drift and steering wheel of center. This time, let's look at the case where both the front and the rear wheels have same ply steer in one direction. The size of the ply steer is the same if the tire design is the same. In general, the yo angle caused by ply steer has a small value. Therefore, vehicle pull, vehicle drift, and the steering wheel of center do not occur if all the tires have the same ply steer. The explanations by now can be summarized as shown in these figures. Uh, when replacing the rear wheel with a tire having ply steer, unlike Konisti, the yo angle of ply steer due to rear wheels is small. So the vehicle drift does not occur and the steering wheel offset angle is small. Subsequently, uh, when the front tires are also replaced with the tires having ply steer in the same direction, the steering wheel offset becomes zero and the yaw angle is small, so vehicle drift does not occur. This time, let's look at the case where the residual cornering force due to the ply steer on the rear wheels acts in the left direction. The contribution of a vehicle drift by ply steer is smaller than that of quantity. In general, ply steer has no effect on the vehicle pull, vehicle drift, and the steering wheel of center. This time, let's look at the case where the front and the rear wheels have ply steer in the opposite direction. In this case, the angle formed by the longitudinal axis of the front and the rear tires is twice the yo angle. So, the magnitude of steering wheel offset angle is also doubled. If the front wheel ply steer is in the opposite direction to the rear wheel, a visually noticeable steering wheel offset occurs. In general, your angle caused by ply steer has a small value. Even in this case, ply steer does not cause vehicle drift or vehicle pull. The explanation by now can be summarized as shown in these figures. Uh, when replacing the rear wheel with a tire having ply steer, unlike a conistic, the yaw angle of ply steer due to rear wheel is small, so the vehicle drift does not occur, and the steering wheel offset angle is also small. Subsequently, uh, when the front tires are replaced with tires having ply steer in the opposite direction, and the rear tires are also replaced with tires having right-sided ply steers, the steering wheel offset angle doubles compared to the one-way rear wheel ply steer and increases to a visually noticeable size. The yo angle still occurs little. So, a neither drift nor vehicle pull occurs. Comparing the one-way ply steer and the opposite ply steer of the front and the rear wheels, the yo angle due to vehicle drift caused by rear wheel is the same, uh, but the steering wheel offset angle has different size. Uh, this is because uh, the steering wheel offset angle is zero uh, when the ply steer is the same for all directions. And when the ply steer is in the opposite direction, the angle formed by the longitudinal axis of the front and the rear wheels is doubled compared to 
when the price still exists only in the rear wheels. In both cases, even if the driver takes their hands off the steering wheel, the vehicle goes straight and the vehicle does not drift or pull. Let's find the answer to the quiz. What is the main cause to produce the tire pull and the vehicle drift? The answer is number one, conicity. Here we have a summary. Uh, for vehicle drift due to conicity, vehicle drift is produced when the total conicity force of rear axle is great in one direction. Longitudinal axis of vehicle doesn't coincide with the, the direction of vehicle motion. Distinct offset of rear wheels with respect to the front ones can be observed. A no vehicle pull appears when there is no conicity forces in front wheels. Steering wheel shows distinct offset. A vehicle drift due to price steer. Ply steer influence on the vehicle drift is small compared with conicity influence. Generally, ply steer doesn't produce vehicle pull, observable drift, and the steering wheel of center. If the direction of ply steer forces of front axle is opposite to that of rear axle, the vehicle will show the distinct steering wheel offset. If you watch the previous videos, you can easily understand the upcoming videos. In the previous video, E0050, I explained the vehicle attitude, steering wheel offset related to the residual cornering force and the residual aligning moment. Recently, I explained how to calculate the equivalent camber and the equivalent side slip angle. The next video will be Tire Brush Model Part 1. I will explain the entire brush model to calculate the lateral force, longitudinal force, combined force. Please hit the thumbs up and catch the brand new videos by free subscription. So what are you waiting for? See you on next video. Goodbye guys!